in Bloemfontein. Vuyo, nice to talk to you once again. Just who are the nominees uh, for the party's uh, top positions? Well, thanks very much, uh, Obriel. Well, the focus really is on uh, the people who will be Bandu Olomisa's deputy. And uh, those are the two contestants um, that are running for the post of a party deputy president. And uh, the contest really is between uh, Ngabayom Zukwangwa, who is currently the deputy uh, secretary general um, of the party, as well as a national organizer, who is uh, Ms. Litchfield Chabalala who, as many people would remember, is formerly a, uh, an EFFMP. So it's really between the two of them. Bantu Olomisa himself is expected uh, to go uh, uncontested as well as the party chairperson. So really the focus being on the two. Ngabayom Zikwangwa being uh, the, um, you know, uh, having been the front runner, so to speak, all along as people thought that uh, he was uh, the guy sort of likely uh, to succeed Bantu Olomisa. I mean, he has uh, garnered a profile in Parliament for himself, where he has been speaking on a whole range of issues, being the sort of the only really alternative voice to Bantu Olomisa. And Bantu Olomisa seemingly uh, taking a bit of a backseat and uh, open also about his liking of uh, Ngabayom Zukwankwa. But in my conversations uh, with him fairly recently, he has been speaking a lot of positive things about Ms. Chabalala, uh, Linksfield Chabala as well saying, look, I mean, she has really put a great deal of work and effort into uh, oiling the party machinery, crisscrossing the country, trying to set up branches or strengthen them. She has become so familiar with the challenges facing the party in such a short space of time that she has been occupying that portfolio. So at this stage, uh, one cannot tell for sure as to who between the two of, of them will um, in the end uh, prevail. Both candidates seem to be strong enough, but uh, we don't uh, really have a sense as to behind the scenes uh, who among the two or whose lobby between the two uh, um, lobbies will have done uh, a great deal of work and really win come um, the elections later this evening. But uh, the nomination process, uh, which would have enlightened us on who are the other contestants with regard to the rest of the uh, positions. Uh, that uh, particular process was to, supposed to take place around 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, but it has since been postponed to consolidate the list, and uh, that process, we are told, will now only take place around uh, 3 o'clock. Obrio? And during uh, uh, the party leaders' address to delegates there, he alluded to the fact that change is necessary. Now, is he talking just about change of uh, the policy direction of the party, or is he talking about change at the top leadership as well? Well, you're right. A lot of change. Uh, um, uh, I mean, he spoke really in uh, about a lot of change that uh, he thinks uh, needs to happen. But uh, if you read his speech in its entirety or listening to him, the change he seemed to be talking about was the change that he believes the UDM can introduce. He didn't speak about change within his own party, for example. He didn't talk about change. Which, I mean, he has been at the helm. This is the fifth Congress of uh, the UDM, and he's been the only leader um, at the helm, and he hasn't brought any changes himself. You look at the UDM itself, it has been hemorrhaging over the years. It had 14 MPs when after it was first established. Right now, it has a four MPs. You look at uh, one of the things that they continue to commit to, which was, to, which is to try and bring uh, South Africans from across all walks and I mean all walks of life, uh, from across um, the racial uh, communities um, uh, that South Africa has. Uh, but it hasn't succeeded. The only time it was able to come close to doing that was when uh, Rulf Mayer um, was around as a core leader since then and since the departure of those people um, the UDM has really become a, an, an almost like like a 
totally and completely a black party uh, drawn from by and large um, the Eastern Cape. So its profile really hasn't it doesn't give you a sense that it will it is in itself it has been able to change uh, you you then ask the question will they be able to seize whatever opportunity uh, opportunities that they may have seen i mean bantu olomisa spoke a great deal about uh, the opportunities that exist that he believes exist primarily because uh, uh, to to quote him the anc has messed up but does he have the machinery does he have the policies does he have the ethos and uh, uh, you know drive does his party have all those things to seize those opportunities uh, nothing has uh, c can convince anyone at this stage as to whether they have indeed done uh, a great deal of preparation on their part to seize whatever opportunities that there may be. We will see at the end of this Congress whether they are indeed a change party, as he claims, and whether, in fact, they are, uh, uh, they are prepared for the forthcoming local government election. Well, thank you so much, uh, Vuyo. That's our contributing editor there, Vuyo Mvoko, coming to us live from the UDM Elective Congress in Bloemfontein.